when we were talking about Porsche and then they got the management out there to start working on making the changes. As the team formed its plan, a crucial moment arrived. The Coyote handed a circular saw to Winnie King, now dressed in a blue Porsche jumper horn by all production workers, and told him to go down the aisle sawing off every rack of shelving at 1.3 meter level. As Kessler then, the head of Methods and Planning Department and now the head of Supplier Development Group remembers, it was a defining moment. Historically, senior management never touched anything in the plant, and no one ever took such drastic actions so directly and quickly. At the end of the week, the initial rundown and in inventory was complete. There was no longer any place to store 28 days worth of parts, and the effects were both dramatic and completely visible. The Porsche internal teams, meanwhile, had hardly made any progress on their parallel task and concluded that they should simply join the next consultant-led Kaizen. All right, so drastic. you got to just make a change and be done with it. If you don't have a place to store it, you can't keep it. Right? If we just keep moving things around, we're just moving around. So we got to figure out ways to reduce the inventory, not just move it somewhere else where it looks pretty and stored. we got to make sure we get rid of those locations. Okay?